Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from EGIS Associates. So this is our next in our computer build series. We're going to open up our uh, case box here and take a look at this NZXT H700i case and look at some of the features in it and kind of basically give it a, a quick review. So we'll go ahead and get this opened up. So I'm going to step over here, grab a tool to get the tape opened up here. So I'm going to use a screwdriver, not the best there. So we've got that open now and we'll work on getting the case out of here. This is obviously a big case, so it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. So you can see it's kind of well packed in there, a lot of good foam to protect it in shipping. Let's see if we can get it to pull out of the box here. There we go, slides out. And move the box out of the way. Take the foam off. For those that don't know, NZXT is a well-regarded um, case and computer component manufacturer. They, they make cases, coolers, fans, um, power supplies, and more for you to use in building your own systems. So, there we go, got the plastic off. Okay, I've already pulled off by accident the back panel of the case. So it came off pretty easy. So we're going to take a, a quick look. So the, the, you can buy these in various colors and color schemes. So I went with the black on black scheme here. You can go with uh, white uh, as a primary color or black. And then they, you can do different accent, uh, accent colors uh, on the inside with, um, let's see, blue, red, uh, yellow, white, and, and some others they're in there so get a lot to kind of make your computer look look nice and that's a big thing which is kind of weird for me because when I first started building computers back in the the 90s it was all about function and we everything was just white box cases nothing fancy and now we're getting into color color coding and color matching of systems and you know, some things I've seen are really works of art. But anyway, so getting back to the case itself, said so it's a, it's a mid-tower case. Um, up at the top here, you can see we have our, our connections. So there's our power button. We have four USBs. Uh, two of these are, are USB uh, threes and uh, two USB two connections. There's no of the no type C on, on this one yet. And then we have connections for headphones and, and mic there at the, the top. Uh, turn around looking at the, the back of the case. So you can see it. Uh, pretty much a, a mesh open back. So this is good for air movement through the, the computer to keep it cool. Uh, temperature is a big concern when you're you're building these high-end systems so that uh, your components don't over overheat. Uh, so you can see we got a, a place back here for our power supply and a nice bracket that allows us to easily mount that up. Uh, what's also really nice is down here we have uh, a filter so that it collects the dust before it gets into our system and chokes off airflow in there. And it just slides back in uh, pretty, pretty easily. So that's really uh, a nice feature. Now let's look on the inside, so we'll turn this around in this way, so you can get a good look on the inside. And you can see we got a nice tempered glass uh, panel, so you can see all those components. Like I said, it, it's a big thing now to have color-coded uh, and color... What's the word I'm, I'm looking for? 
um, color matched components in so that the inside of the computer is looks nicer than um, the outside and uh, people like it. So anyway, this tempered glass panel comes off with these whoops uh, thumb screws. Be careful about taking these off, obviously. And I keep my hand on here so I don't accidentally drop it. Take the thumb screw out of that. And with that, should be able to slide this panel out. Now they do put a protective coating on both the inner and outer part of the, the side panel here. Um, you want to leave that on until you're finished building it so it helps protect it, keep fingerprints and smudges and that kind of stuff off of it. So I'm just going to set this down here against the wall so it doesn't break. So inside the, the case here we've got a couple of um, good things. So right up here on the, the front side, if you can see that, are, are three uh, cooling fans that will pull air into to the case. So we've got some good air movement coming in to, to go across the various components in there to, to keep them cool, which is uh, really exciting. This bar here, this black bar, uh, is to help with cable management. So as we start plugging in the, the power connectors uh, for the motherboard, for the video card, uh, for the, the hard drives and the, the other components within the computer, we can neatly keep them tucked in uh, behind that. And then back here, uh, if you can see it, is the fan controller. So this case comes with a smart fan controller that allows you to monitor uh, when your fans kick on, their speeds, um, it's actually got some AI, uh, artificial intelligence built into it so that it will monitor your system and develop um, custom fan curves based on the peak usage uh, of the, of the uh, uh, system itself so that it, can, it really sets up when the fans come on, when they go off automatically to ensure optimal performance so that they're not running wide open all the time because that eats up additional power. So um, by setting those fan curves in there, it really helps you save some money and ensures your system's operating in an optimal manner. Okay, so I've got my light out, so that might help. So right back in there, see it as that fan controller that I was uh, talking about. And then, again, I'll turn it this way, so again, hopefully you can see those three uh, fans. I think those are 120 millimeter fans in there, so that's uh, pretty nice. The other th nice thing or feature about this case is these uh, um, two and a half inch uh, disc holders, right? So we can put in multiple SSD uh, drives in here for additional storage capacity which is uh, very nice. And then the back here, you can see that we have a 140 millimeter exhaust fan. So the, the flow is gonna come in through this way, uh, through the front three, and then be pushed out the back uh, from this direction. And then we've got all these air vents around the sides here that you can see uh, for pulling air in, again, keeping the, the airflow going through the case. Pretty exciting there. So let's take a look at the back side. I'll flip this thing around. Okay, so getting to the, the back panel here to, to look at it, there's a button right back here on the back you press and that causes the, the panel to come off uh, very easily. which is, is great. I, I remember building computers, like I said, back in the 90s, and everything was screwed in, and the, the case itself was usually one U-shaped piece of metal. So it's really nice to, to see this easy access functionality. So we see some, some pretty neat things uh, in here. So first off, it, the case comes with these ca cable management channels in here. So we can run our cables and keep them nice and neat and tidy. Uh, keep them from getting pinched and those kind of things, which is, is really uh, exciting. 
Then this is our connectors from that controller I showed you that was back up here for our fans. So this is where we can plug in. The case fans are already connected in here, which is, is really good. Uh, but we can connect up several other fans because they have these splitters. So if we wanted to run um, a, a, a water-cooled solution uh, with radiator and fans for our, our CPU or our graphics uh, card, you know, there's, there's plenty of, of connections here to make that happen. Now that controller is actually uh, plugged into a SATA 2 uh, port, so we need, or a SATA port, I should say, uh, to get power on that. So we need to make sure we've got that spades. Now back down here, so this is where the power supply goes, right? So the bracket comes in there. Then we have these drive cages for uh, standard three and a half inch drives. There's two of those built in there. So we've got that. And then with the, the, the case, we've got a box that should have all the screws and things we need to connect various parts. Um, so Open this up so you can see all that. So included in here, so we've got some zip ties for cable management. Uh, looks like we've got a uh, um, RGB LED uh, extension. All the screws we need to connect our, our motherboard and uh, other components in the system. We've got another LGB uh, light strip that is magnetic that we can place anywhere in the case. So one thing I didn't mention, going back to the, the front of this, is that across the, the top here is a, a built-in RGB strip. So it's red, green, blue lights, right? So we can make lights change colors and do things on the inside. Again, with that glass panel in the front um, kind of looks really cool. Uh, tell people never discount the ooh-ah factor. So this case has some, some pretty good ooh-ah factor built into it. So kind of excited to see that when we get it uh, built up. But back to the other side that we were looking at. So flip that back around. We also have a nice manual here that tells us uh, you know, how to orient things, how to put things into the case and limitations and specifications and all that. And Let's see if I can fold this up, kind of like folding up an old paper map for anybody that remembers how to do that. Eh, actually got it, so very good. So we've got, um, like I said, all the screws we need. And here, standoff zip ties uh, for putting the, the components in the case. Another RGB strip goes in there. So a yeah, pretty well-built system. The, the other neat thing I'm noticing about this cable management system is that you, if you don't want to use it, um, for whatever reason, then you can take those out. Yeah, they're just screwed in there. So if you don't like these channels and uh, want to use your own, then, then you can take all of that off, including this part down here. And uh, again, here's two more um, bays for, for small drives to, to be put in there. So plenty of room for, for drives in here, which is good because we've got three drives that will end up going in this when we're, we're done with it. So that won't be a, a problem. The, the other thing that we've got is if you did want to water cool this system, if I can pop it out, is, there we go, pop that right out. So the top comes out and then you can see up here is there's a bracket for a radiator. Uh, so uh, for, you know, if you wanted to Again, run some sort of water-cooled solution. You got plenty of room for a radiator up here. Uh, looks like it'll it'll take pretty much any size. So a lot of room for for that up here. And again, you've got the the grates here to help exhaust uh, the heat and or pull more air in for for cooling, depending on how you set up your rig. So very very well laid out case. I'm really excited about building a system in it. The the other thing I forgot to to mention or didn't show really well is that they've already got the the uh, standoffs in place for an ATX motherboard so that's already in there that should make our life a whole lot easier so there you go well uh, so I think that's about it so now you've seen the case um, you know I, I chose this one for for many reasons 
One is its size. It offers a lot of versatility in there. It can take multiple size boards, ATX, EATX, uh, and so on. So we've got plenty of room for that. It's got space for good water cooling. So if we want to get into overclocking the system later, uh, we, if we need some additional cooling on there, we can easily set that up. Um, got place for plenty of drives. And I like the, the cable management system here. It's much better than, again, those old computers I used to build where you had wires running everywhere. This keeps them nice and clean, easy to get to if we go to do an upgrade. Don't get a lot of tangled mess or spaghetti in there. So, yeah, I'm very excited about this. This is going to be a fun case to, uh, to work with. So, with that, y'all, hope you've in, enjoyed the, the second video in our computer build series. Uh, please remember, if you like what we're doing, uh, please support us by becoming a patron for our channel. The link for that will be provided down below in the description. With that, we'll see you in the next video.